Welcome back to the next video on the hollow point testing series. Today we're going to get some measurements, some weights, and I'm going to size all the bullets. I won't try to subject you all to trying to watch the entire sizing process for 1800 bullets. So I'll give you a quick sample of that, cut out most of it. We'll get to the weighing, we'll fly through that, I'll show you the summer at the end, and then we'll call it a day. So let's go ahead and get a couple measurements here. This sizing process is really a bit of a, a swaging process. So you can see the portion of the bullet that the calipers are touching, the three uh, driving bands there. And you can see that they currently are 0.438 inches. After we shove it through the sizing die, this measurement is going to read 0 0.430. When that bullet gets sized, that lead has to go somewhere. It's not compressible. And so it's going to have to flow somewhere. There's no air pockets or voids inside the bullet. But as you can see, those driving bands have now been uh, sized down to 0 .430 inches, uh, just like we knew they would be from 0.438. And here you can see the final length. That was 0.7735, and now it's 0.7865. So while the diameter has decreased the hair, the length has extended a hair. 161.3 grains. Hundred sixty-one point one grains. And one sixty-one even. For the hollow point version of that bullet. So here are the weights that I'm using uh, for each of these bullets and each of the designs to calculate my load data. In the next video, we're going to measure and talk about hardness. And I believe all that's left after that is to load these up and shoot them. I appreciate you sticking with me so far.